I went into it not knowing anything about football and not knowing anything about Diego Maradona um, other than, you know, Hand of God, Arm of Maradona, the stuff that everyone knew um, mm -hmm. at the time. And I thought it worked for a number of reasons. Firstly, because I think that act of compression at the beginning is brilliant. I think it's got a terrific... It opens with a car chase, basically. It feels uh, like it, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it is. Literally, it's camera in a car, isn't it? And it's the car's going through... And, and I re really felt like this was a kind of get you up to speed to this moment, to the arrival. I, I think that worked brilliantly. I think the fact that he focuses in on this particular thing about, you know, Naples and the significance of Naples and what's happening in Naples and the... The thing that Asif Kapadi has always been very good at is putting moments within their kind of cultural context. So, f for example, with Senna, I know nothing about Formula One or racing, but I did feel like I understood the world in which the thing was, in which everything was happening. Um, so I thought that that worked really, really well. I also think the central idea about two characters, Diego and Maradona, which, as he said, Fernando Signorini is the person who sort of raises this and says that Diego I would follow to the ends of the earth, but Maradona you wouldn't want to walk through a door with. Um, and there, and But of course, to which Maradona's answer is yes, but if it wasn't for Maradona, I'd still be back there in uh, you know, Villa Fiorito and we wouldn't be here. So I think all of that stuff works for me as somebody who, and I'll say this again, doesn't know anything about football, but was able to understand what was going on because the, the way in which the thing was constructed told me the story. I think when you were making that comment about the weight of the ball changing, what it highlights is you have to see this in a cinema. Now, I've seen it twice on a, on a on a small screen and on a big screen. And I'm telling you, it's a totally different experience on the big screen. You do lose a lot on the small screen because what you lose is that the sound is so much more immersive when you see it you know, properly projected. And um, and I found that that was the kind of the way into the drama, the mix of the music and the sound effects made everything make sense to me. And, you you know, you you, you may become aware at some points that, you know, that, that there's a lot of Foley work that has been put in there to make sure that you feel every kick, every punch, every push, even when there's kind of, you know, scraps on the field. You you know you you're watching with your with your ears. I, th I think it stood out for me because it's so unusual to have sound that like a microphone that close to a ball yeah, you know exactly. it was so i think oh wow you know you don't you don't normally hear that yeah yeah and i th and i thought that i thought that worked really well and Le I thought, go sorry go finally and i thought the other thing about it was finally that i think it works as a it has a narrative arc to it and the mistake is always to imagine that narrative arcs in anyone's life are just there and what a filmmaker does is they just they they portray or depict it it doesn't work like that. Narrative arcs in documentaries are created and they're created by editors and directors and, you know, writers moulding, you know, the, somebody's life is clay and you can make three different statues out of it. And I think that what he's done in this is to pick a very particular, very well chosen arc of the story that works and makes sense in a kind of almost classical tragedy way and would mean that somebody like me coming to it with no knowledge of the subject and no knowledge of the subject could go, okay, because I understand the dramatic arc. If I was forced to, and if we consider them as a trilogy, yes. I would I would say I enjoyed Senna the most and I, and Amy second, I would put this third behind it's, it's a you know, it's still a terrific piece of work and I and I'm wondering if it's because of the drama of the Senna story and the tragedy of the Amy story just makes the the story arc even more powerful and stronger. Whereas this one, he's constructed a story out of the years in Napoli. Yes, um, but I I didn't feel that it lacked impact as a result of that. In fact, and I I don't think I, I, I don't think I could tear the three of them together. I think they are a very good trilogy. And I have to say the triumph of it in is that because of the, all I knew about Diego Maradona in advance was the the stuff, you know, there was not very nice press coverage of him. Um, I kind of went in thinking, I guess a documentary about a footballer and a footballer about whom I've only heard bad things. I mean, quite apart from the fact that he's a brilliant player. And one of the things the documentary does do is we say it's not about football, but it does do that thing about, you know, he says football is a game of deceit. And we do see how... Yeah, a bit of cheating and a lot, a lot of genius. Yes, a bit of cheating and a lot of genius. which As is As English a, which, fans which, discovered. Yeah, yeah, which is a great line. But also you do see that thing about... 
you know, you the, the, you make the player, th you, the other player think you're going one way, you go another way. And so even a newbie like me can understand, oh, I can see, I can I can understand what's happening there. But yeah, that phrase, that's actually, isn't it? A, 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 bit, a bit, bit of cheating. A bit of cheating, a lot of cheating. Lot of cheating. They do address the handball. Well, there's a picture. Yes. I mean, there's, there's, admits, there's, there's, yeah, no, you admit to himself, he actually says, the linesman didn't see. Yes. And, and he says it gleefully. And in the, well, in the film, one of the reasons he says it with glee is it, it is tied to the Falklands conflict. Yeah, absolutely. Which is, and also there's some shots of English fans who not get who don't do themselves a lot of justice it has to be said yeah